Welcome back everybody to the Medieval Village tutorial. Now I know it's been several weeks since my last video has been posted. I do apologize for that. I have had some serious problems going on here. And uh, yeah. So without getting into too much detail, there's just a bunch of stuff that happened to me. And a bunch of stuff that's been going on uh, in life. So I felt that those were more important to take care of before I started jumping back into the Minecraft videos. Now, since we are back with these Minecraft videos... Hopefully you guys did enjoy the the kind of update video. I did just want to do that really quick because there was a few things I did off camera and I didn't feel that it warranted you know enough to make a tutorial out of it. So I just did it and then hopefully you guys can see how I did that uh, by just looking at that video and kind of going over what uh, what I explained in that video. Anyhow, in this episode we're going to go ahead and knock out this uh, this kind of beach wall right here, I guess is what we're going to call it. Uh, the tutorial is just going to be called a wall, but it is going to be the beach wall. And it's going to be made pretty much like the pedestals of, uh, of our structures here. So it's going to have the plastered stone back behind it. And the travertine, I believe it's called. It's been a long time since I've actually seen the names of these blocks uh, as a support structure. So anyway guys, I have cleared out a little place here. Uh, right behind me there that we're going to start off with the first piece and it is going to kind of vary it a little bit here so we're going to go in sections of five and three and possibly even a section of one but unlikely because of the uh, the whole structural columns there out of the travertine but hopefully we can get this done I'm going to build this just offhand here real quick uh, it shouldn't take too much it's not that detailed of a build but I hope you guys enjoy it and I hope you guys can find a place for it to go in your builds so anyway Let's get to it. Alright guys, so we are here. We have all the materials that we're going to be needing, which is only these three. So like I said before, we have the travertine. We have the uh, the other two blocks of it, so the stairs and the slab. And then we have the plastered stone. So it's going to be constructed pretty much like uh, the pedestals of the buildings like I had said there before. So now, this wall is going to be too deep. So uh, go ahead and what you're going to do is build a support column here that is. Alright guys, so I have all the material here ready here in the place where we're going to build. So like I have said previously, it is just the travertine. So the uh, slab, the slab arch, and the slab slab for some reason. I don't know why it's uh, wrote like that. But then the plastered stone. So like I said uh, earlier, it's going to be pretty much the same principle as uh, as this guy right here but uh, it is going to be changed just a little bit to where it doesn't look like it's just uh, the pedestal there as a wall and doesn't make it look like this whole place is kind of built on a uh, on a pedestal so now uh, if you guys are in uh, the vanilla minecraft of course I'm in the conquest mod but if you guys are in the vanilla minecraft I would suggest you guys use uh, stone brick and cobblestone uh, for this but anyway for the first pillar here oh yeah also guys remember that uh, this wall is going to be two blocks thick so two blocks thick no matter where you're building this at least two blocks if this was out like on the uh, out on flat land then you would want it to be three blocks because you would have a support pillar on the one side and then the plastered stone and then you would want a support pillar on the other side but since it's up against the wall this is only going to be two blocks thick what you're going to do is just go ahead and build up your wall as tall as you want it to be here on uh, this side. Now since this is a seawall, and uh, this hillside here is pretty uh, pretty tall, this one is actually going to go up seven. So there's three, four, five, six, and seven. So we're actually just going to go ahead and bring this across. Like I said, in uh, odd increments. So this is actually going to go across by seven so there's five six seven and then on the eighth block we're just going to go ahead and put one of those up there and then go ahead and bring down this column and then again now we're going to go with seven because i do want it to come over here but what we're going to do is we're actually going to recess it back one and uh, actually we're going to go back by five uh, since it's recessed so there's one two three four five and then on the sixth one Go ahead and build a pillar coming down this way. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, tear all that grass up so it comes straight down. 
Alright, and now this is actually going to come back at a diagonal. Yeah, back at a diagonal by three. So we're just going to come off of this side. So then there's one, whoops, two, and three. And then your fourth block would be out here. So go ahead and put uh, your column there. Now this is going to be different uh, compared to uh, what your wall is going to be. My wall is just like this because of the shape of the mountain that I'm building on. But if you do have a curve very similar to this, then uh, you can obviously go ahead and copy uh, this. All I'm going to do is just go ahead and bring this over here. So that's three, four, five, which would make this one uh, the end of it. Yeah, that works. So now this pathway it looks to be about seven wide. Uh, so we're just going to go with one, two, three, four, five, six, and s seven. There we go. Go ahead and put that. So this, of course, is going to be a pillar all the way down. And then coming off of here, it comes out a little bit further. So we actually need about, well, I guess we could mirror it. How would that look mirrored? Uh, three, actually, no, I don't want to mirror it. Maybe we should actually go by five. Yeah, out five this time. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. And on the sixth one here, Go ahead and build a pillar so there are five of them there. Bring that all the way down, of course. Alright, so then obviously these things have to be in evens, like I said. So since this comes that far across, we're actually going to go with seven. So there's three, four, five, six. Yeah, and seven. So then remember on the eighth one is where your pillar is going to be. Something similar to that right there. Now, of course, we are going to go ahead and push this just a little bit, probably just over there, uh, but it is going to come out and a very just a little bit here. So now, since this is actually popping out, uh, what I want to do here is actually delete that one, and then we're actually going to put one right here, just like that. So now, on this side, you can't, you know, you won't be able to see it. It'll look like a regular column. But then, uh, over here on this side, it's going to be exactly the same. So it's actually going to pop out. So since it pops out, this piece goes, you know, kind of in front of the last row. That way you don't have a double pillar there. All right, so this one's only going to be five. So one, two, three, four, and five. And I guess we could double pillar it here. Or maybe we should go six or seven. Six and seven. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So that actually needs to be the pillar. Which means I can go there. Which also means that if that's like that. Uh should we actually just go in a straight line? I'm thinking we should just go in a in a straight line. However, I think it would look better if it actually kind of recessed back. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five. All right, and then we're gonna go with another recessed back of five. So one, two, three, four, five. And then just go ahead and put a pillar right, oops, right there. And then I think what we're gonna do here is we'll probably just kind of level this off here so actually what we should do is maybe we should drop this down one block so something similar to uh, to this and then maybe we should have one more coming off of that uh, just to make it look like it doesn't stick out so there's three four five and then six yeah that looks all right so now what you're gonna do is just go in one block behind all of these voids right here uh, or behind this level here your plaster stone is going to be on this back level so it would actually be right there uh, just like that compared to the travertine so I'm going to go ahead and do that because it's going to be a lengthy process and I'll be back once all of this is filled in 
All right, guys. So I hope you're not uh, too upset about it, but I have went ahead and uh, added in some detail here to these uh, to the walls. So hopefully you can still tell what uh, what I have done here. So I went ahead and made a put a full block there up against this pillar, and then a slab, and then a stair facing that way, and then a full block with a stair on top of it. And then you just reverse that on the other side. So in that case, it is a stair facing that way, and then a slab, and then a full block, and then an upside down stair uh, there. And then up top here, I just went ahead and put a full block underneath of the middle block, and upside down stair, and then filled in this right there with uh, the two travertine blocks. Over here, I've done the same thing, although it is a little bit different because this is only a gap of five. So we have a full block, a slab, a full block, a slab, a full block. And then we have, of course, the upside down stair, upside down stair. Uh, but in the middle, we do not have a stair, and it's just connected there with that. But then up top, we do have a full block and then a stair. Here, we just get, went ahead and put a stair there, stair there, stair there, and stair there. I uh, didn't touch the middle block at all. Over here, it was the upside down stairs, nothing, and then it is a slab. And then nothing, and then an upside down stair, and it is mirrored on the bottom, of course. And over here is just a mirrored version of what is uh, over there. So actually, this needs to go away, and that needs to be put like that. So it is a full block with an upside down stair, a slab, a full block, a full block, and then a stair up, and then connected with those two blocks in the middle, and then an upside down stair. So now you could actually go ahead and do that, which I'll go ahead and do it just so it matches. But then the rest of these, uh, the rest of these sections right here, actually this one right here needs to be pushed back one. So go ahead and take care of that, like that right there, go ahead and fill in that block there, like that, and there we go. All right. So the rest of these didn't don't really have a space here to uh, combine them on or to. Uh, add in these details actually what I think we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go underneath this and delete that just like that which then deletes that row as well and then uh, what we're gonna do is just go ahead and leave the rest of this like that right there and then we'll go ahead and pull the grass up to the wall uh, just kind of in the next section now comes the section with the stairs now this is gonna be fairly simple here we're actually just gonna bring it straight back here until it co connects to the pathway there, so it's actually a gap of five. Do the same thing here. And make sure it is five, so there's three, four, and five. And then on the sixth one, you have a pillar. Perhaps we should double pillar that. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and double pillar it for now. Yeah. Make sure all these weeds and stuff are off the pathway. Alright, so now what you're going to do is you don't have to worry about any kind of decoration or, or anything here on the inside of it because this is right here is going to be filled in with grass, so is the other side over there. So now all you have to do is just go and grab your slabs and then go ahead and bring your slabs down here a single block at a time, or a half block at a time I guess it would be, something just like that. Actually that's not going to be slope down quick enough so I guess we will have to go ahead and use the stairs here so we go ahead and grab some stairs just like that and we'll go ahead and fill these guys in I'm just gonna do something here like uh, well like that there we go and then uh, that will actually put us down here on the ground level on that block right there which uh, actually I don't, I don't like that so we we'll actually had to go one block back which means we can just go ahead and put one there like that like that like that and then this block here is actually gonna have to be a stair here for the very first block so again actually you can just go ahead and fill this whole wall here in with uh, this travertine block or like I said uh, before if you are in the vanilla minecraft then go ahead and use your stone brick 
Uh, if you wanted to, you could go ahead and fill it in with uh, whatever filler block you was using. I will go ahead and use this travertine. So we'll go ahead and fill this in like that. All right, so we're just gonna grab that one and grab that one, and then we are gonna stack it um, six to the east. Perfect. All right, guys, and then what you're gonna do is, of course, whenever you get here, you just come right down the stairs here. Oh, there's a tree. And, and get rid of that. And perfect. Now I'm gonna leave uh, these weeds and stuff coming up through the stairs. I know it's not really realistic, but uh, to me it does kind of add realism because it makes it look like there are uh, weeds and uh, little things uh, like grass and stuff growing up through the cracks in the stairs, uh, which is what we're going to go ahead and uh, leave it at. So I'll go ahead and randomize that later on. I'm going to go ahead and fill this up full of grass here after the episode. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, why don't you go ahead and hit that like button. If you are new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I do apologize for it being a... You know, a kind of hard to follow tutorial and not one that's a real simple, you know, tutorial to be able to port over. But hopefully, uh, you guys are able to see the kind of direction I was going with this wall. Hopefully, you guys can edit it however you need to edit it to put it into your build. And overall, guys, I hope you are enjoying the series. So, I'll see you later and catch you on the next one.